She's cheating! She's a cheater! Over seven? Bienvenidos otro jueves de Nick en Casa. Estoy muy, muy emocionada por este especial, ya que tenemos unos invitados súper especiales, que además de que son increíbles, amo sus personajes. Entonces, pues bueno, seguramente ustedes ya saben quiénes son, pero ay, estoy muy emocionada. Entonces, bueno, les voy a decir por fin. El día de hoy tenemos de invitados nada más y nada menos que los hermanos Thundermans, que bueno, ya saben que eh, fue una de mis series favoritos de Nick. Y tenía una de las relaciones más divertidas, eh, Max y Phoebe, pero además de eso, bueno, eran como el King y el Yang, ¿no? Que eh, interpretaban los mejores hermanos, pero además de eso, ellos en persona también se llevan muy bien. Entonces, ¿qué les parece si hablamos con ellos? Entonces, vamos a empezar. We're so excited to meet Jack Griffo. So, how are you, Jack? It's so nice to have you here. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for, uh, for having me. I'm excited to be on the show. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you happy? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited and nervous. You know, being, being nervous means you're excited. So, you know, I'm, right. I'm, I'm excited to talk about uh, Thundermans and, and Nickelodeon and all the good stuff that comes with all that. Great. Right. So we're happy. We're very happy to have you here. And also, I wanted to uh, ask you some questions before we start about yourself. So, uh, when was the last time that you saw Kira? I think I ran into Kira on the street last time I saw her. I believe I was uh, on like Ventura Boulevard and I was leaving like a, a lunch or something with, with somebody else and you know, I spotted my thunder sis. I was like, Kira! <laughs> He was like, what up? Um, it, was, it was good times. And now I want to welcome Kira also to this live. Hi, Kira. How are you? I'm very happy to have you here. I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here. It's so nice to meet you. So uh, what was your first reaction when you first met Jack? Um, so I actually met Jack uh, a long time before Thunderman started. We went to school together and we went to acting school together. So really? I think my first... Yeah, I think my first reaction when I met him was I was just excited that there was another like kid in class who was like around my age because at that time I was like a lot younger than most of the kids in the class and he was only like 10 months older than me and so I was just like excited to have another kind of, you know, peer in the class. Well, that was uh, I I didn't know that uh that you guys knew each other before Thundermans. That's great. Yeah. That's cool. Well, uh, so first of all, I want you to ask uh both of you, you remember uh the first time that you Uh, like spoke and had a conversation and everything. Go, go, go. go ahead. Okay. I remember one yeah. of the first times we hung out. I think my mom like took us to an audition. That's what I was okay. thinking. And I remember the con. I don't know why I remember this, but we were having a conversation about cupcakes in your mom's car. I don't remember what the conversation <laughs> was. I think your okay. mom wanted to. I think your mom wanted to stop and get cupcakes on the way back from the audition. It was an audition for. I think it was for Hunt's Tomatoes in a can. And we this wouldn't play brother and sister. This is Kira's <laughs> brain. This is how, this, this is 10 years old. This is like old memories. This is your yeah. <laughs> It's a file cabinet up there. Well, I <laughs> like cupcakes. <laughs> so uh, a very important question for everybody in the audience. Do you know how to say anything in Spanish? Uh, yeah, I, I see, I see. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, lo estudio en escuela, pero solo puedo conversar un poquito y, y muy despacio. <laughs> <laughs> She's better than me. Muy buen español. <laughs> What about you, Jack? No, not not really. I just totally cheated. I was like a little <laughs> bit. No, um, I know like muy bien and like the baños, where's the bathroom, yeah. like you know things to like. Donde está la biblioteca? Well, okay, no, not, all right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know any songs in Spanish? I know the no. ones I learned in school. I know the like... Despacito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So I want to ask you some questions for this game where... Uh, Phoebe, I'm going to ask you... Well, not Phoebe. Sorry, Kira. I'm going to ask you Jack's okay. questions or... You can call me about Phoebe. ...about your characters and everything. <laughs> Sorry, big fan. <laughs> For <laughs> a moment. And Jack, I'm also going to ask you some questions about, about Kira. So, Jack, when is Kira's birthday? Uh, her birthday is uh, October 7th. Yes. Hey, well done. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I'm the worst at remembering things. So every time there's a friend's birthday or anything, if I don't see the Instagram stories and stuff, I definitely don't remember. So I'm the worst at that. Well, we spent about we spent about five birthdays together. So I definitely know oh, yeah. this girl's birthday. You're right. Yeah, it might have even been six. Remember, yeah. It was a lot. Oh, no, it was five. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of birthdays. We're in that nice little two-month period where we're the same age. Oh, great. All right. So, Jack, what's Kira's favorite food? Ooh. <laughs> um, there, there really isn't an answer to she, this question for, for what it's worth. She, okay, okay um, right. she likes those, um, she likes those, uh, those seaweed, uh, You know what's funny? I literally fish. haven't eaten those since Thundermans. I since haven't had those in like three years, yeah. Kira <laughs> likes, Kira likes pizza. Come on. Okay. Come on. Sure. Everybody Why likes not? pizza. <laughs> Give it Everybody to me. Like pizza. <laughs> so, Kira, what what what's Jack's favorite Nickelodeon character? I mean, probably SpongeBob, right? Mm. Everybody loves SpongeBob. My mind went to Drake Bell. That was well, but yeah, that was my second choice. But I was like, mm. you, I thought <laughs> you might, you might get it. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, what's Kira's favorite sport? <laughs> I don't know if it can be, but she likes dancing. Uh, she likes yoga. Not really a sport, sporty girl though. My favorite like Olympic sport is gymnastics. Like I'm very invested in gymnastics and figure skating. And yeah, then like yeah, regular yeah. sports, it's You're basketball. Very... Kira, what's <laughs> Jack's favorite candy? I actually don't think I know the answer to that. Uh, Jack's favorite candy. I feel like most of the times when I've like seen Jack, he's been eating like pretty healthy because we were always like training to be in our super suits. So I haven't seen him eat a whole lot of candy. Um, I mean, I know you like peanut butter. Like I remember you getting like large scoops of peanut butter from Crafty. <laughs> um, but I don't know if like Reese's is your favorite. Uh, My uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess and say Twix. No. Mm. My favorite candy is without a doubt the cookies and cream Hershey's bar. Really? The All white right. one? Yeah. <laughs> that was hard. Whoa! Wild. <laughs> wild. Well, I'm Dad, crazy. do you know how or who Kira dressed as in Halloween? I don't know. Katara from Avatar. Oh, that's I oh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So, Jack, what is the name of Kira's EP? <laughs> um. Um, it was my name on all social media for like six months, if that helps. It was my like display name. Oh, Songbird. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. <laughs> What's Jack's favorite song from, from your EP? He hasn't listened to it. <laughs> I, have no listened to to no my, I have listened to it. I just haven't listened to it in full. Ah, uh, okay. no, actually, I, I think your favorite- You know what my favorite songs of yours are, though. You no, know I do, I have, that's you know what I was my just gonna say. I was just gonna say, like, he, you told me to put out Wandering Eyes a lot. Like, I used to play that when we were on set, and I know that you liked that one, and that one ended up on Off Brand. I loved, I loved vinyl. Did you love vinyl? Tight. You know I loved, I thought you remember I loved vinyl. That was, like, my favorite one of yours, for sure. That makes sense. Fire, thank you. All right, Bye. so congratulations for your EP. And now I want to ask you some questions and talk a little bit about the, the Thundermans universe. What do you miss the most about the Thundermans set? I miss the live audience. Oh. Like performing live in front of a crowd is really fun. And like just making people laugh is always really, really nice. And so having like a big crowd of kids and like making people laugh is really, really fun. But I miss that, and I miss the people and uh, like the community we had. It was a really, it was a really tight knit group. Well, uh, I want to say welcome to everybody that is getting in the live, and I hope that you're enjoying this. And well, uh, for the second question of this round, uh, what was the funniest thing that happened while fil filming the Thundermans? Kira fell down the stairs. Yeah, I was, taping. I, was, I was super clumsy as a teenager and I we had this episode where like I was a dance I was dancing in the episode like doing ballet and I was like I know I'll do this like leap in front of the audience and show off and like look cool and I was just I was wearing these like flip-flops and I just like tripped and I just fell no. down a set of stairs and like combat rolled in front of the audience and it was yeah. not pretty 
It wasn't pretty. But I, <laughs> I made it seem like it was on purpose, and the audience it was laughed. Not and so, graceful. at the end of the day, whether they're laughing with you or they're laughing at you, at least they're laughing, you know. At least they're laughing. <laughs> well, uh, I hope that uh, everything was okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm in one piece. And, um, I survived. Oh, I, I also kicked Great. you in the head once. That was not funny at all, but like, you know. Yeah, funny I, have a, I have a scar from that still, bro. <laughs> not, <laughs> not funny. Not funny, not funny. <laughs> I thought you were telling me that story. It, it sounds funny, but I, I don't think that in that moment was funny at all. You know, I well, will say it, it wasn't funny when I got kicked in the head, but Jack Jack came to the hospital with me because uh, I had to get stitches and I hadn't slept the whole night before. And so I was just like delirious and like kind of in shock and like in pain. We were having fun. We were we, like, no, having I was gonna fun. Say, I was gonna say I just started laughing and I couldn't stop yeah. and like he and I were like giggling in the lobby of the hotel of the hotel, yeah. of the emergency room yeah. until like two in the morning while I was waiting to get stitches just like laughing and crying it was really funny. Uh, if you could only pick one, what is the best Thunderman's episode? <laughs> only one. Um, I really like the Christmas episode where Phoebe did all the ghosts of Christmas past and present and future. Kira killed that episode. And I think we all fun. just did, had, had, had really f a really fun time that episode. I think, I think obviously like the special episodes are fun. Like, you know, the movie episode or, you know, Thunder in Paradise and like all those. But I almost feel like I wouldn't want to pick one of those as like the best episode just because they were so different. Like, I feel like the best episode would just be like one of the normal ones where we were like in the high school with Principal Bradford and Cherry and Oyster and Wolfgang. And to piggyback on that, like what you're saying, like the big episodes are always like great and fun, but they're like strenuous, like they're, they're hard. harder and they're longer. And like what Kira is saying about like just the chill episodes where we have our, our, our friends and our guest stars yeah. where we're really kind of relaxed and yeah, not, cool. you know, trying to get our days and whatever and school is going good, you know. So That's that was a, half the battle too while we were shooting most of the show. We were yeah. doing school. It was also just like, you know, when you're on a set, it's like we were we were young when we started. We were, you know, we were teenagers and the little siblings were little kids and the adults were adults and we were kind of the only teens on set, me and Jack. And so when we had episodes <laughs> where we had like our friends, like we had actual friends to hang out with, which was always really yeah. nice. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, so if you could pick an, another Nickelodeon show to be in, like for example, Victorious or Drake and Josh or Henry Danger or iCarly, uh, the Loud House, I don't know. Uh, you, which one would you pick? Definitely Victorious, just because I would wanna, I would wanna sing with Ariana and Liz Gillies. Yeah. I think yeah. Zoe 101. Nice. You know, 2020 has been a very crazy year. So could you imagine? Phoebe and Max in 2020? We'd, we'd be older. We'd be, we'd, just, we'd be, you know, we'd be superheroes by then, right? We'd be in our careers. I think we'd probably try to save the world, Loki. We would have saved the world already, like, ten times. Yeah, we would have, <laughs> we would have stopped all of this from happening. Who are you talking about here? This is the Z, this is the T-Force. Come on. <laughs> well, we definitely need Max and Phoebe right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I have a second game. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. All right. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> what would you prefer and why? Rain, but instead of water, is tacos or uh, pizza? <laughs> okay. Um, the rain is either okay, tacos or okay, pizza. Got... Yeah. This is this is inter this is an interesting one. <laughs> if it's pizza, I feel like it's gonna hit you in the head and be really painful. But tacos, I think, would probably fall apart on the descent. So like tacos would be like a bunch of ingredients not organized. You know, like we want we want we want pizza. Okay, we're going for pizza, right? Okay. <laughs> so number two, an evil talking pet or having a rock as a pet. Star. <laughs> yeah, or an evil talking pet. <laughs> I mean, a rock. Like an evil pet is is so such a responsibility. Everything. How many episodes happened yeah. just because Dr. Colosso was being the worst? Uh, Colosso is a uh, Colosso is very high maintenance. You know, you got to have time for such things. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pet rock it. right now. Yeah, anybody got time for that? Then um, <laughs> number three. Jump instead of walking for the rest of your life, 
or never driving again. Thanks. I already jump more never than driving I want. Again. I, think, <laughs> I think skipping is highly underrated. I think more people should skip. I think it's a great mode of transportation. <laughs> um, and a so great yeah, party for, for your Look, daily would, life. I would be in great shape. Everything would be much more fun. Everyone's laughing all the time. And if you can't drive, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'm skipping to you, Kira. Please do. Skipping. I would love that. Are you kidding? No. I'm going to come skipping. <laughs> Perfect. Join us. All right. Number four. Having superpowers, but you cannot tell anyone ever. Or you have superpowers, but the whole world knows. The whole world I mean, knows. those both sound great. Yeah, make me... <laughs> Famous. Let's go. I'll be, Iron, I'll be Iron Man. I'll be Iron Man. Let's go. Yeah, I, right. I, I don't think I would be down with the whole, like, concealing your identity thing. That just seems stressful, so I would let everyone know. Number five, having to do homework every afternoon or having to Ugh. do the dishes after every meal? Dishes. Dishes. I mean... Never homework. Uh, or adult. I'm an adult. I dishes already is, have to do the dishes every day, so that's fine. Dishes is, thera <laughs> yeah. dishes is therapeutic. Like, you get, that, you get that stuff off of there, you feel better. Her work is like nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I any, agree with you guys. Anyway. All right. So I have a third round of questions, but I want to know a little bit more about you. What song can't you get out of your head right now? Right now. Um Im impossible by nothing but thieves. Okay. Nice. In, in the most you? stereotypical fashion, I'm going to say 3435 by Ariana Grande. <laughs> Anything from <laughs> positions. I've been listening to the new album a lot. And for me, maybe Stone Cold by Demi Lovato. I don't know. I was singing it yesterday, and now I cannot get it out of my head. <laughs> they love us some Demi. It's huge. Uh, yeah, I love that song. Oh, uh, So where was the best vacation you've ever taken? Vacation? Because? Yeah don't really take a lot of vacations. I mean, I took a vacation to, 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 to Maui right after Thunderman's ended. Oh. My great uncle oh. has a house there now and I got to go stay there for a week and it's right on the water and we went surfing a lot and did a lot. Oh, well, that's great. Stuff. Sounds yeah. like a great vacation. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, Bora, 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 Bora Bora was my favorite vacation ever. Oh. Of did, course. Yeah, we scuba dived and uh, I saw a manta ray, which is like super rare, like a giant manta ray, like 20 feet big. It In terms insane. of the places that you and I like went for work, would you say Malta was like the most fun? I mean, yeah, I know you Malta love Scotland cool. you got to go to the EMAs. But yeah, but yeah Scotland, was, Scotland was okay. And it was like, I was a little younger too. So it, it was always good to travel when we were a little bit older, you know, so we, we could travel alone. Like London was really fun. Um, Australia was fun. Malta was really cool. And I really liked Berlin. I really liked Berlin a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mine, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, London is my favorite place. So maybe that was the best one. Although uh, I was eating a burger and when I gave a bite, my teeth fell out. And it was a really great burger. But uh, yeah, that, that was, that was oh. painful. <laughs> That's uh, it's terrifying. That I'm so good. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to, that happens to me in dreams. Me too. <laughs> yeah. You know you I, say I, you have a dream that your teeth are falling out, it means money's coming to you. Really? Yeah, I've heard yeah. that. Yeah. I need to start dreaming about that. <laughs> yeah, right? You're welcome. All right, so describe yourself in three emojis. Emojis? Oh, the sunglass yeah. emoji, the smirk emoji, and the hard eyes emoji. All right. Um, I'm the clown emoji. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Starting there. Um, I don't know. What about you, Kira? <laughs> Give me um, some time to think. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm like the two little pink hearts emoji. I'm the the bird emoji, the one that I used for songbird, and I don't know, probably the lightning bolt emoji or the butterfly emoji. I feel like those are the ones that like feel the most me. Great, I love them. I hate butterflies, so that would be for me. <laughs> but nah. maybe for me, it'd be the clown emoji, uh, the sunglasses too, because I like that one. Uh, that yeah. looks like, yeah, that, Honestly, I like that emoji. And maybe, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't don't know. <laughs> All I right, so do you have any I'm new just the hobby? upside down smiling emoji. You know the guy oh, who's yeah. smiling? <laughs> Everything's that, fine. That one took 
be uh i don't know or you can mask. use that for, for when you're angry and also uh like uh i don't know that that one has many interpretations for that layers <laughs> yeah layers many layers uh do you have any new hobbies because i mean uh this was like a very different year and many people started doing new things so what about you um i got two dogs this year and it was right right before uh right before quarantine like i didn't get them because we're locked up or whatever like it was literally right before it all happened yeah so it was actually great oh. for that like i could just i was just home with the dogs and i could you know i figured out how to you know just take care of them and and, and uh, those first couple months are just really crucial in training and stuff like that and so um that's kind of my it's not a hobby but like that's a lot of my time and um, I really like stand-up paddleboarding, and I want to take that up um, this year. What about you, Kira? I got a boyfriend. Does that count? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I, uh, I joined um, – no, I've been on a trivia team since, like, the second or third week of quarantine. Um, Have you really? I had been, like – so yeah, I'm on every every Thursday night. My so my, a couple of my friends are are in a, a band called Sleeping Lion, and they have a trivia team that they've been doing with my boyfriend for like years called Guessing Lion. And so they went into like a virtual team when the pandemic started, and uh, I joined for just like a couple of weeks, and I got hooked. And then now it's like our standing tradition every Thursday night. My best friends and I get together and we make dinner and we we do trivia. And we've won the past three weeks in a row, so we've changed our name to Winning Lion. It's very exciting. We're having a great time. Um, yeah. Great. So, uh, you're very productive over this quarantine. I, I think that my new hobby is eating a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That brings me to my other hobby, which was already a hobby, but like walking. Yeah. Like, I, I work out a lot, but my gym closed and my yoga studio closed and like, I, oh, I started running, um, which I'm t terrible at, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm, I'm getting better at not just doubling over and throwing up on the side of the street when I run for more than five minutes. <laughs> All right, so I have a third and last game, all right? So you have to pop your head in and out the frame, and whoever does it most before the time runs out that you're going to have 15 seconds uh, wins, all right? You ready? Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> Great. So I'll be counting the seconds in my head, and uh, you just... Do your thing. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> one. All right. <laughs> oh, she's cheating. She's a cheater. Oh. This is really fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Work okay. smarter, not harder. All right, We're 10 seconds. 11, 12. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> 13, 14. 15, all right, you're, you're, you're done. <laughs> Jack wins, I'll give him the L for that. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the bullet on that. I think I'm gonna take the bullet on that. <laughs> you did great, but yeah, I think that Jack is a winner for this game. <laughs> I'm so good at that, I'm so good at that. <laughs> is yeah, that your new hobby, Jack? This I is, my, this is gonna be my new hobby, you literally. We're practicing. <laughs> I was just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, well, uh, this was, this has been, Fu oh, so fun. I wish we had more time. So Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thanks Thank for having you, us. It was, it was so nice to meet you. I hope I hope you uh, so stay nice safe. Have, you a, have a good week. Wish you have all a good the best. week to you. Bye. Hey, say bye. say hello to your dogs. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and bye. to your boyfriend, Kira. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I will. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> bye. You too.